All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. My name is Hair or Alex, and welcome back to Hair NHL. Today, we're going to be talking about Eric Carlson, the captain of the Ottawa Senators, the captain of the team that is sinking, currently only in, oh, yikes, uh, they're in 29th, I believe, because there's 31 teams in the NHL, 29th in the league. Wow, that is hard numbers. They currently sit with a 15-19-9 and nine record, currently with 39 points. That is only, you know, behind them is Buffalo and Arizona. That is not a good record for the Ottawa Senators, considering they were this close to making it into the Stanley Cup Finals last season. So it is not a back bounce-back season for them at all. Is Eric Carlson a reason for that? I do not think he is. He is a shining light there. He has 30 points uh, in 38 games. Three goals, 27 assists. He sits at a minus 19. And yes, maybe you could look at that like a minus 19 is not really good because, you know, he's a, you know, defenseman. And if a defenseman has a bad plus minus, it means he's not making the right plays. Sure. But he has eight power play points, one power play goal. Um, he's been setting up his teammates. And, you know, their team isn't bad. They're just having an unlucky season. That happens. But is Eric Carlson really the guy to look for, to blame? For their failures. When you look at Montreal, is when they play bad. Is it Carey Price or is it the entire team? Or is it Max Pacioretty? You know, we had a lot of things to talk about Max Pacioretty being traded. And now he's firing it up a bit more. And now, you know, we don't know if he's going to be traded at all. You know, things happen. But Eric Carlson, this is a very interesting thing. Coming straight from the GM of the Ottawa Senators, uh, G, uh, GM Dorion. Our first priority with Eric is to sign him. He's a special player. But Wayne Gretzky got traded. So if a team offers you an offer you can't turn down, you listen. But at first priority is to sign Eric Carlson and Eric Carlson to be a senator for life. So basically what they're saying is that Eric Carlson could be traded. It is very possible that Eric Carlson could be traded if the right trade comes. And what would be the right trade? I mean, you look at all these different teams who would want to retain his salary. Eric Carlson currently sits at a 6.5 cap hit for the Ottawa Senators. And that is a lot for a lot of teams already. Uh, you know, a team that could do it is Arizona, maybe Montreal possibly, but not with Shea Weber's contract. And especially the fact that he only has one year left on that contract and he will need to be re-signed, which means that he will want more than the 6.5, which is already a very high number. Now, we're all guessing probably around the 10 mil mark, most likely. Uh, nothing less, at least, because he is a star player. He's only going to be 28, 29 when he gets a new contract. Uh, so he, he's a huge part. And he, will he stay in, in, in Ottawa? We don't know. But it is very likely, like I said, that he could get traded. So for a fun thing I want to do is I wanted to share with you guys what it would be like if Eric Carlson did get traded uh, and put on a new team. Now I'm thinking maybe a team like Arizona, maybe Buffalo could take his cap hit. So we're going to put that into a simulation and we're going to see how that goes. All right, guys. So we are here in franchise hockey manager. It's basically a simulation game. It's like using NHL 18, uh, except this one is like based just for simulation. So here we go. We got Eric Carlson, 27 years old, $7 million uh, cap hit against the Oliver Ekman Larson, who is 26 years old, a $7.8 million cap hit. So it would be uh, like a reduce in both sides. And, you know, some would be having to take some salary, some would lose some salary. So it would be like an all around trade. Now, because I'm the Ottawa Senators who are trading them, I thought that all of Rackman Larson would be the best because, yes, you are losing a guy who's going to the another side of the ice. You'd, you'd have to play on the left instead of the right. But you are getting a guy who's younger and you are retaining, you're taking a little bit of salary hit, but it's all right because, you know, it's it's one for one basically it's a very uh, one for one deal if they were to do it with arizona so we're gonna put this through uh offer trade we're gonna sim a, a couple of days here let's just continue all right so that's one day okay so the trade was accepted between the two we just have to uh complete the trade and we are good so now all of Regman Larson is on the Ottawa Senators. Eric Carlson is on the Arizona Coyotes. We'll see how this goes for the both of them. It should be pretty interesting. Uh, all right, so we're going to have to set someone to a captain. I'm going to put Mark Stone as the new captain. I don't know why. I mean, it should be someone else probably. I don't know. Anyways, all-star announcement. We're going to go all the way to... Wait, what? Oh, uh, give him a number. Uh, let's give him 90. I don't know why. Okay, a sign. Uh, he, that's fine with him. All right, cool. All right, guys, so we're currently simming to January 13th. That is halfway through the season, 41 games, uh, and we're going to see how Eric Carlson is performing on the Arizona Coyotes and if Ottawa is suffering with the trade of Oliver Ekman Larson for uh, Eric Carlson and how Arizona is doing with 
their new acquired defenseman, Eric Carlson. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm expecting, you know, Arizona to do a bit better. Not amazing. I'm not saying they're going to be first because it's just Eric Carlson. He's not going to change the entire team, but I think that they can um, definitely, for sure, do better. Hopefully, not last. Maybe a little less than half. I'd say a little less than mid-pack. All right, guys, so we are halfway through the season, and we have the Ottawa Senators sitting at 28, 16, and 3, and the Arizona Coyotes are sitting in 28th place with a 15, 30, and 5 record. Now, the Arizona Coyotes, obviously, I said they're not going to do amazing with Eric Carlson either way, but they are going to do better. They're going to find more of an opportunity to maybe make their way into a uh, contending spot. We don't know. But, uh, yeah, they're definitely still struggling at the bottom there. Uh, Arizona, uh, wow. Vegas is wow okay that's not accurate but anyways uh, we're gonna move on uh, all right guys so we're at the end of the season and every single team has played 82 games and let's see where the Ottawa Senators are sitting ninth they're sitting in ninth so they're 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 in the playoff spot where are the Arizona Coyotes 29th they did not come dead last in this season amazing they've improved now the question is who did better after being traded? You know, because Eric Carlson, he maybe has better teammates and better chemistry on, you know, Ottawa. But how did he do this season? Let's see how Eric Carlson did this season. He did, where is this? Okay, here. 71 points on Arizona, a team that played at the bottom of the league. 71 points. That is crazy numbers. Wow. That's very, very impressive. That is uh, that's Eric Carlson is in a huge impact to each and every team. He had put up 71 points for his team. That is crazy. So Eric Carlson not only had 71 points, he had actually the league leading 302 shots blocked. That's crazy, crazy number. He wasn't up there for the power play goals or anything. Uh, power play points, I didn't see anything. He wasn't really up there. Um, but he, yeah, just, oh wow, that is crazy. So let's take a look at the Ottawa Senators with their new defenseman, Oliver ekman Larson. So let's see how he did in his season. He racked up 66 points in his season, and he did as well. But Eric Carlson, still the better player, still did really, really good. All right, let's pretend that Tyson Berry and Eric Carlson got traded. I don't think this will ever happen, but it, let's say it happened. This isn't the weirdest trade because it is possible that it could maybe happen because they're both likely you know top players that could get traded maybe a couple of like prospects in there but that's all i know uh let's see if uh this goes through i'm pretty sure it's gonna go through when you have, yeah okay all right so that's done eric carlson is now a uh part of the uh colorado avalanche now that should be something else all right so eric carlson is now on colorado for tyson berry and i think honestly this might happen but it would be like you need more in the package you need like a draft pick or an extra prospect as a part of the the package for eric carlson alone because eric carlson is very valuable to any franchise that he joins so tyson berry as well is a very a very you know well recognized player but not as much as eric carlson so i think you would get more for eric carlson or you need to give more for eric carlson uh and not just one for one but for the sakes we're doing one for one let's take a look at the league we got ottawa in sixth place while colorado sits in 25th place all right so not not terrible colorado right now actually in the nhl are killing it right now winning game after game mckinnon and landeskog my goodness what a what a duo but colorado avalanche right now sitting here in the sim with 48 games played and they're sitting in 25th so let's take a look at eric carlson's mid-year statistics so where is eric carlson on this i am I'm very bad at reading. Here he is. So let's see. What is his mid-season stats? What is he like at? 50 points or more? I don't know. Let's see. Season stats? Ooh. Ouch. 20 points in 30 games. He must have got injured. That must have what happened. 20 points in 30 games. So I wouldn't be worried about it, but 20 points in 30 games, that is, that's not too bad for a defenseman, actually, if you think about it. But uh, that is not what we expect from Eric Carlson. So let's go to the end of the year and see if he can get to that 71-point mark or will he be higher or lower? We don't know. We'll see if he does better. Let's see if the Colorado... Aye, 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 okay. They're, they're at the bottom of the league. Yeah, right? No, they're not at the bottom. Whoa, okay. They came 22nd in the league. Now, that's not a playoff spot. But this is definitely pretty good, in my opinion. So, let's see how Eric Carlson did. All right, so here we are at the end of the season. Do you think Eric Carlson passed the 71-point mark? Or 
is he suffering with the Colorado Avalanche? Let's take a look. 46 points. Ouch. That is bad. He was a plus one, though. Yowzers. That is that is hard hit there. That Man, he did not have a good season. 46 points. Does that have to do with just a bad season, or does that have to do with the team? You can't really tell, but he did not do very good. Let's just take a comparison of Ottawa. Let's take a look at the one and only Tyson Berry. We'll see how that went for them. All right, so Tyson Berry has actually 34 points in 58 games. He actually got injured, so I probably should turn injuries off if you think about it. But uh, this is what happens. You know, it happens. League happens. Stuff happens. Players gets injured. 58 games, 34 points. That's not bad for a defenseman. Carlson, on the other hand, could have done better, but life goes on. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you smash that like button and uh, leave a comment what you think. Eric Carlson, where's he going? If he was to go anywhere, who would he go for? Uh, where would he go? And uh, yeah, have a nice day, guys.